A singer with the rarest voice range can perform in a wide spectrum of music genres, from jazz standards to a guttural singing and avant-garde compositions. Thanks to her Kazakh folk songs, she became popular all over the world, and she's sure that the sounds of Kolbiz and Dombra can cure human souls. In today's program Pro Art, meet one of the unique figures at the Music Olympus, Nazgul Shukaeva, who is a participant of the Bouquet Kiev Stage Festival. Today Nazgul invited our band to perform jointly with her musicians in the concert. Nazgul Shukaeva is a unique and extraordinary singer, and it is no wonder that all her colleagues are also talented. In this way, we started working together. I would say that this is rather a concord. Why is the singing of Nazgul Shukayeva so magical? Why does it charm the audience? She charms people with her dynamics. The main person at concerts is the one who gives it, and it is backed by rhythm section, drums, bass and piano. Our band is called the Nazgul Shukayeva Project, Nazgul Tengri. As far as Kyiv is the capital of Kyiv, many different creative events are held here. One such forum is a new festival under the title Bouquet Kyiv Stage. Among headliners of the festival, there is ethno-jazz singer Nazgul Shukayeva. We met her on one of the main festival sites, near the golden-domed St. Sophia Cathedral. Shukayeva's opinion, music is something more significant than just the art of singing. Music is in fact an entire philosophy according to which you have to engage in the activity which brings you joy in life. Music is something more than art, because I put my heart and soul into it. Music brings joy to me. People feel that I do it sincerely. Having a rare voice range, the singer searches and forms her unique performance style. It is created through the combination of all genres of music – jazz, avant-garde, folk music and authentic songs. Her style of singing is quite easily recognizable due to its ethnic and vocal origin. Every genre of music has its own frequency, vibration, requirements and style. For this reason, it requires a special arrangement. Engaging in a certain project, I try to immerse into the world where, let's say, only a certain style exists at the given moment. So what is meant by a new style? That is a confluence of the soul, spirit and body. This is the only way that we will be able to come up with something new. Have you ever come across the term world genre in the list of genres? This is music of different nations, which is combined with classical pop and jazz music in various modern arrangements and ethnical variants. Honestly speaking, I like new genres. Recently, I started performing songs of modern composers Victoria Polova, Sveroslav Lunyov, Yurina, Alla Zahaykevich and many others. Every music style requires training, rehearsals and immersions, because music is not just performance of a certain music composition. A full immersion in the music is needed. A song performed by Shukayeva sinks into the hearts of the people who even do not speak the Kazakh language. Nazgul moved to Kiev from Kazakhstan 19 years ago. She could live in any country of the world, but she chose Ukraine because she feels more comfortable here. 
I will receive Ukrainian citizenship in several months. This is a conscious step because I love Ukraine very much. I consider myself a person of the world, as probably everyone considers himself or herself. The fact is that wherever I go, I feel home everywhere. For me, Ukraine is like my motherland. It is like Kazakhstan for me. I feel very comfortable here. That's why I decided to lay my roots in Ukraine. The singer currently promotes Kazakh music around the world, and she does this in a particular way. She invites famous musicians from the US and the UK to perform Kazakh songs jointly with Ukrainian musicians. I would say that there is a certain exchange of energy between us, and very often she meets independent musicians, and they end up collaborating with one another. Nazgul is confident in the peak of development in Ukrainian musical culture and the desires of creative people to experiment. She also takes new approaches, fantasizes and proves that human capabilities are absolutely unlimited. Our entire life is an experiment, and this is exactly what is the most interesting, because it is impossible to research your nature. Our life will not last long enough to do that, because we always change. That's why life is an experiment, and so is music, where everything is full of experimental sounds. Improvisation during any given performance is always a compulsory component of Nazgul Shukayeva. After all, the best jazz musicians are an integral part of the band, and experiments in art are a sense of creative work. Seeing as improvisation is the basis of our music, it is very close to our hearts and souls. This gives us a great feeling. Nazgul is a unique musician, a unique singer and a unique woman. For these reasons, it is extremely interesting for me to collaborate with her. The musicians performed on a well-arranged concert stage, although it was in an open-air space. It was quite difficult for them because the sound was dispersed. But all of a sudden, a sound producer came to help the band to synchronize the acoustics and make them clearer. It is very difficult to coordinate the appropriate acoustics on an open-air stage. But we have a very professional team, and I want to thank the organizers of the festival Bouquet Kiev stage for doing a great job in terms of organization. Whatever happens, I think that this is for the better. In any case, we can improvise, and it only improves our concert. In the opinion of colleagues of Nazgul Shukayeva, a performance in the open air is really a direct connection with space and revival of the internal energy for the singer. It seems to me that communication with the musicians whom she invites also inspires her because the exchange of energy gives such an awesome result. The avant-garde performance of this singer organically fits into the supermodern design of the territory that is adjacent to the St. Sophia Cathedral. The audience very much enjoyed the seductive voice of the singer and the aura of the ancient religious sanctuary. Visual animation displayed on numerous mini-video displays enhanced the exchange of synergy of the audience and the singer. I think that sounding is perfect today. If a musician feels such comfort, then they will give a good performance. Our creative work touches people's hearts wherever we are, in India, America, China or Ukraine. That is, we can convey our emotions directly or with a certain measure of restraint. We are also in some way hit by this way when we play together. After all, this is a joint creative project. The theater project of the unique Kazakh singer Nazgul Shukayeva is impressive and fascinates not only the audience, which gets acquainted with her creative work for the first time, but also her former colleagues, because she is always different and unique during every one of her performances. 
очередь энергии. She has unharnessed wild energy, and these feelings are conveyed not only to other musicians and inspire them, but also to the audience. She constantly develops. Not only does she sing, but she also creates a real show. She masters different voice techniques. Nazgul can sing in the European academic voice as well as in ethnical voices. She sings not only in the voices of Eastern peoples, for example Armenian, but she also reproduces a wide palette of vocal sounds from Yakutia to Kazakhstan. She sings perfectly. I can't remember how long I have been playing in Nazgul's band. I was a member of one of the first Ukrainian bands. A joint performance with Nazgul is none other than a comfortable synergy. Having heard how Alexei Korchahin was playing the Armenian duduk and Indian and Turkish ethnic flutes, Nazgul couldn't help but invite this musician to perform with her band. I first met her at one of the festivals. I worked as a sound producer, and she gave a master class there. We decided to make an experiment and played together. We did it two or three times, and after that we started performing together on a regular basis. Even if I give a solo concert, I feel that we're one team. I understood that the time of individual development had already passed. Now we're developing, and we're all working together. People feel each other. They are on the same wavelength. It does not matter if it is music or theater. We should develop only together with friends and in a team. The gem of Nazgul Shukaeva is her guttural singing, or Kai. She calls it sacral singing. It is quite typical for the traditional music of the ethnos of Siberia, Mongolia, Tibet and Turkic people. One can feel that she has a talent because she masters guttural singing. She does something that not a lot of people can do. Meanwhile, Nazgul proves that these powerful sounds are capable of unlocking a hidden potential. She insists that everyone is able to master the Kai. It is worth giving it a try. Everyone is able to sing with a guttural form of singing. It is natural for every person, because we have a very close connection to nature. For this reason, guttural singing is none other than a projection of who we really want to be, or who we actually are. Nazgul Shukaeva is sure that a person does not know any limits of his or her capabilities, and people can cure themselves through their singing. When Nazgul was 20, she experienced clinical death. After that, she completely redefined the value of her life. From now on, she always listens to herself in order to comprehend her inner strength and considers the human body as a sacred instrument. For me, the human body is like a diving suit that can change different state, different life credos and energies. When you are missing someone, you just need to enter this sacred place and meet that person. You can long for your motherland, country or something else, but all that you need is here, in this sacred place, in the deepest core of your heart. Nazgul is a woman's name of Turkic origin. It is very popular in Kazakhstan. It is translated as a modest rose or a tender flower. So it is quite natural that this flower became the adornment of the festival under the title Bouquet Kiev Stage. <laughs>